This is the industry. It ain't how big you are, it's how big you seem. It's all about that persona. A very, very large number of these artists do not own all these cars, all these houses, all this jewelry. It is a facade. That ain't what your boy Nathan does. No, my motto is get out before they go down. That is so not my motto. What up though, y'all? It's your homie, J Money, coming back at you with some more heat for that ass, baby. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, much love to all my lemon heads out there for stay rocking with your homie. I'm trying to figure out a way to do some sort of give back to, to my people for helping your boy hit a thousand. Still got those special videos coming in rolling. Homeboy's been to come over. We got something special lined up for you. Hey, I figured today was as good a day as any to get back on the train and react to some NF. Oh, yeah! Views been going down, man. I don't know what it is. Maybe people ain't liking it. I'm digging my man NF too much. Maybe they like, boy, you too much of a fanboy. You too much of a fanboy. How you gonna be unbiased and whatnot? Cause you ain't you ain't had a song you ain't liked. Nobody For the most part, that's true. I, I don't know what it is, but hey. I enjoy the content. I enjoy the artist, so I'ma keep putting them out. I know I got at least a couple of y'all that's gonna keep watching them, so. Well, fuck you. Much love, baby. Much love. But yeah, um, so I guess he's got a new song. Again, I'm trying to figure out a way to keep up to date on these these new songs, man. I just found out Tom McDonald got a new one coming out. Or just came out with. I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Uh, you know, NF came out with one. Uh, I mean, there's new music that I don't even know about. I'm like, what's going on? But yeah, I don't know. So I'm, anyway... This is what it is, homie. We're going to jump straight into it, y'all. I ain't going to hold you up no more. NF with Motto, baby. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it. Link to the original video is going to be... If it was up your ass, you'd know. In the description, y'all. You cock smoker. Make sure you go and peep that out a little some some. Let's get into it. I know I didn't say that like three times. Y'all like, shut up, mother. Shut up. <laughs> I could write a record full of radio songs. Yes, you Do could. Well, wait a minute. Oh, come on. Don't start this. I feel like I've heard that. Nobody cares. Yo, let your boy know. This is a new song, right? I could have swore this is. Nobody cares. Either way, I'm doing a reaction to it because I ain't never heard it. But I could have swore I heard that, like, intro. Hmm. I could write a record full of radio songs. Yes, you do could. Do a bunch of features that my label would love. Uh -huh. Do a bunch of features that I don't even like. Just to right. build up the hype. There you yeah. go, baby. I could sell my house and move out to L.A. He said, look, man, it's real easy to please everybody. To make some, some, some radio hit, pop, junkie kind of just smash artist thing, you know. Get me a... Give me a hot artist for a feature and shit. But I ain't going to do that because that ain't what I do. What's wrong, dude? That ain't what your boy Nathan does. Did your mom drop you on your head when you were a baby? Y'all know that. I could sell my house and move out to L.A. Get inside of rooms with the biggest of names. You know Hire you 50 people just to give me advice on the way I should write. Oh, God. Yeah. Sounds like a nightmare if you ask me. Yeah. From my, bed. my man's back wearing white, y'all. I'm telling you, there's something different about this man with this new album coming. No shit, there's Sherlock. something different about this man. Yeah. Went from my bedroom to the big leagues. You know how many times that I was told things wouldn't work but worked out. Having cold feet didn't keep me... Dude, right? seriously. You can't, tell what, you can't take what people be telling you as law, as truth. You got to make what it is you believe in be true you gotta make your thoughts and your ideas become truth 
Because don't nobody else believe in them. Because I'm going to tell you right now. Don't nobody believe that I can make this channel do anything. Well, duh. And maybe I can't. But I'm damn sure going to try. I mean, I enjoy doing it. It's probably the most fun I've had doing anything since playing football, basketball in high school. But I can tell you now, don't nobody close to me believe in it. I mean, I might have like... Will you shut up? Maybe two or three people close to me to actually watch the videos. People are trying to sleep. It is what it is. It ain't going to stop me. You know I'm going to keep grinding. You know I'm going to keep putting them out. Because you know what I say? Bump. Bump, 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 bump them. Bump, bump them. Bump, bump them. It worked out having cold feet. Didn't keep me from success, but delayed it some. I used to be the guy who killed to get a number one. I had to hear that songs that hit before I thought it was. But nowadays, I don't really give a Why? Oh, God. Might catch me at the award show. I miss buying CDs at the store. And don't yes. Make cases trying to yes, man. So do I, dude. Eat shit and die, fuckhead. A couple of reasons. One is how you showed your love to the artist. You bought the CD. You know, instead of just paying for a subscription to a streaming service or something that pays them some astronomically low for every play they get, like... That's crazy to me, but I, I I miss waiting for album drops and and all of that, man. I man, I miss that. I truly do. Suck it, Grandpa. I miss buying CDs at the store and thumbing through the cases trying to make a choice. Yeah. That don't make no sense to you, well of course. See, one man's inconvenience is another's joy. Wow, wow, how are you unemployed? Telling me to get a life, you should look at yours. Right. Yep. Congratulations, you can raise your voice. Hope you break both of your legs falling off your horse. Oh, snap. This is the industry. Where it ain't how big you are, it's how big you seem. Where people say Facts. Facts. You're getting on my nerves. This is the industry. It ain't how big you are, it's how big you seem. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, it's all about that persona. It's all about what you, what you let people see. You see these rappers, man, they got... What you know is millions of dollars worth of jewelry. You know they don't own it. You know they don't own it. You watch these videos, man. They got cleanly a quarter of a mil on their neck full of di iced out Cubans. Come on, you know they don't own it. You know they don't, man. I don't care. They might own one, maybe two, but they don't own all those chains looking like Ice tea and shit running around. They just don't. It's a fact. Look it up. 90% of artists, I don't know if it's quite 90%, but a very, very large number of these artists do not own all these cars, all these houses, all this jewelry. It is a facade. It ain't how big you are, it's how big you seem. Where people sacrifice the art trying to chase a dream and they wonder why they... Can't do that, man. You sacrifice the art just to chase a dream. I hate you. Look, man, it's got to be real at first. If it ain't genuine and real up front, don't nobody want to hear that. Don't nobody want to see that. The music's lacking creativity. Oh, yeah. Would it gave anything to be respected by the artists I was listening to? But not no more. Them days of history. Skip the red carpet. You looking for me? Oh, God. Yeah. You might catch me at the award show. My feet propped up. Leave like, my I don't shirt give a shit. Tug. Right? I'm Bump the boss, so what? I do what I want. Oh, you got the trophy, that's great. 
I'm happy for you, no hey. Yeah, this song kind of seemed to me to be a little bit clownish. Like he's just letting y'all know, man, look. This is what they want me to become, but I ain't having it. I ain't having it. I've stood ten toes down my whole career. I'm going to stay ten toes down, ten knuckles up, baby. Huh? We gonna like we gonna have to we gonna have that argument. We gonna be I'm gonna stand there like like give me all the smoke because what it is is what it's gonna stay. That's kind of what it seems like. But the music, it's got kind of a Krusty the Clown ass. Like I don't know, man. It's it's hard to explain. It's just got an atmosphere of you know the way he's kind of moving around and you know it's just kind of got like a like a free flowing just kind of clown aspect to it like he's making fun of the fact that that's what the industry has to be y'all let me know down in the chit chat if your boy's wrong because that's, that's what i'm getting out of it i mean i'm just gonna be totally 100 with you that is straight up what i'm getting out of that hey i'm happy for you no hey Still oh, hey. got a smile on my face, chilling in the back like, hey, oh God, yeah, you might catch me at the award show, eating popcorn in the back row, catching Z's with my hat low, no nominations, but it's cool though, oh God. right, right, you might see me in the same clothes, I had on last week in my shame, no, yeah, you heard this saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, that's my mind. And there's that one fan, that one fan that you know appreciates the hell out of it, that's loving it, that is there for you no matter what. He's there to see it all. I love that. I love that. I think that, I think that has a little bit of a hidden message in and of itself. There's no denying that was funky fresh. That's the motto, y'all. That Yeah, straight up. That's all good to me. Y'all, look. I still have a little bit of the journey that I need to get through. These last couple that I put out have been his new stuff. But based on a lot of the stuff that I've heard from him on the journey list. You sound like some kind of tech award. It really seems like Nathan has, he's kind of let the, the, the not intensity, but he's, he's kind of left the drama behind him. It's about having fun now. It's about living your life. It's about, and he's got a child. It's about, it's about making a better life and being happy. Like, it's not, it's not about, like, everything that has happened in the past. And I, I, I enjoy the hell out of that, man. That is just great to me. It makes, like, to watch your favorite artist grow and become something different, and not even so much different as it is to become... Like a, like a cohesive piece. He's happy where he's at in life. And that shows in the writing, in the delivery, in the lyrics, in the music. Which, by the way, y'all, that music was banging. That beat was hot. That beat was smash type shit. Love the hell out of it. But I just like just the whole happy kind of atmosphere that this video and this song gave. I, I like what it says to his fans and what it's saying. Like, look, man, I could do this. And I could keep having these smash songs. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not selling myself out. I'm not selling my soul for something that I ain't 100% backing. And that's what's up. That's legit. You cannot hate on that no matter which way you look, how you turn it. You can't hate on that, man. Don't preach to me, fat Hey, y'all, it's time to keep it pushing forward, man. It ain't all about looking back 
and seeing the, the drama and the dreariness that you had to go through to get where you at, you also got to take some time to enjoy where you at. You worked here. You worked to get here. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Love yourself. Treat yourself. I'm telling you, y'all. Telling you, you have a lot better of a life if you do it. I'm telling you, Nate's telling you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you straight off the top. I'm gonna get that song probably about a 7.9. You suck Love the balls. Beat. I understand the lyrics. I get what the song is saying. It's just not the best work of his. You know what I'm saying? Man, you are one pathetic loser. He did his thing. I, like, I, I understand it. It's probably mid to what I've heard from him. And I haven't heard a lot. Like, maybe 25 songs all together. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm a, yeah. That, that's a 7.9 is where I'm going to put that. Well, fuck you then, it's punk. Not, like, it's not bad, y'all. That just because it gets less than an 8 or an 8.5 does not make it bad. It's just at this stage and only listening to it just one time. Are you high? That's just what I'm going to give it out there. Now, am I going to listen to it more? 2, 3, 4, 10, 12, 32 times? Yes. Can I come up with a different conclusion? Yes. Will I let you guys know during editing if I have changed my mind to it? Of course. I can change my mind, y'all. Y'all, yeah, that's a keeper. I mean, pretty much at this stage, anything coming out of NF, unless he just straight goes honky-tonk country, is going to be a keeper. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just at this point, that's just what it's going to be. Y'all... We on this journey together, me and my Lemonheads, boy, we stay rocking. If y'all like the content, do your boy a favor. Like the video, share the video with your friends, your enemies, your homies, your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister. Share the video. Also, if you enjoy the content, y'all, subscribe to the channel. It helps with the algorithm. It does immense things in trying to get your boy to that 2K. And you know we're trying to hit that 2K this summer, man. We almost there. Y'all already got your boy to 1K. That 2K ain't gonna be nah nah. Nah nah. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna dead this video right here, man. It's your boy, J Money. Ow. You're popular because you developed early and started giving hand jobs when you were 12, but now you can't stand to look at yourself in the mirror because all you see is a whore.